Little Bad Riding Hood by Julia Jarman and Jane Cope. Once upon a time, there was a naughty girl named Little Bad Riding Hood. One day, her mother said, Take these cakes to your granny dear and try to be good. Go straight there and don't speak to any strangers. Little Bad Riding Hood set off, but soon wandered off the path and met a tall grey stranger. Mmm, cakes, said the wolf. They look delicious. Hands off, therefore my granny, said Little Bad Riding Hood, trying to be good. But she won't miss one, will she? said the wolf. Suddenly, he heard a noise and ran off. Little Bad Riding Hood walked on, but thought about the wolf's word. Mmm, they look delicious. She ate one little cake, then another. And another. Uh-oh. Oh, crumbs, cried Little Bad Riding Hood after she had eaten all the cakes. Now what can I give Granny? She looked around and put stones in her basket instead. Perhaps Granny won't notice, she thought, and hurried on. Meanwhile, at Granny's cottage, the wolf was busy. He tied Granny up and hid her. He put on her nightcap, he jumped into her bed, he made a tasty menu. Cakes, Granny, Bad Riding Hood, uh-oh. At last, there was a knock at the door. Granny, may I come in? called Little Bad Riding Hood. Yes, my dear, the wolf replied, pretending to be Granny. Oh, Granny, said Little Bad Riding Hood, you look very ill. What big eyes you've got! All the better to see you with, said the wolf. Now give me... But Granny, said Little Bad Riding Hood, you look terrible. What a big nose you've got! All the better to smell you with, said the wolf. Now give me the cakes. But Granny, said Little Bad Riding Hood, what a big mouth you've got! Or the better to eat you with, said the wolf. Ooh. Take them, said Little Bad Riding Hood, but you won't like them. The wolf grabbed the basket and started to eat. Crack went his teeth as they crunched on the stones. Ouch, cried the wolf as his teeth fell off. He ran away toothless. Ooh. Well done, Little Bad Riding Hood, said Granny. The wolf won't be eating anyone for a while, but why were you bringing me a basket of stones? As Granny looked around, Little Bad Riding Hood was already running out the door. This story has two puzzles. In the first puzzle, can you put the pictures in the correct order and then say which event was the most important and explain why? In the second puzzle, Look at the pictures above and try to match these pictures with the correct speech bubbles. Take your time and try your best and when you're ready, write your answers in the comment section below. And then I'll see you in the next story. Take care for now, see you later, bye bye.